instructions here. Today we're going to be doing a review of new things that I got from Woods Electrical Company. Starting off here, we have this little uh, power strip here. It has four outlets on it, and it does have a three foot cord and two USB outlets. So I will be installing this over there after this video. But I'll be demonstrating this one first. Um, there's a little zip tie that goes up there, but I took that off prior to filming. Um, very nice. It has mounting holes on the back. This does light up, and so does this little surge light. There's the Woods logo. And they have four nice little outlets here. They do have a safety lock on there. And, um, which is nice. It's also surge protected. Pretty sure I already said that. And then here we have two little um, USB outlets for charging your phones, tablets, whatever. And then there's a little light down there. I'm guessing it shows if it's charging or not. But um, I got my computer. And um, I'm going to get my iPod. And I'll sh show you guys what this looks like. Let's turn on the power strip. Oops. <laughs> Forgot to turn on what it's plugged into. Um, but... Let's say we need to charge our laptop at our desk or whatever. You have a regular computer desktop and then you can plug that in right there. Yeah, the Apple one does take up a few spaces, but I guess you could put it down lower and still have enough. Um, you could also buy adapters for that. Um, then let's say we need to charge our phone because we're at our desk or iPod. Apparently that goes in the other way. But it does have two USB ports in case you need to charge like your Beats headphones or something. And then we'll plug that in there. As you can see, battery charging. I'm not sure if this thing is able... Okay, there you can see that little light. I'm not sure if this thing is able to charge large capacity tablets like this one over here. Pretty sure it'll be able to charge the iPad though. Um... Because uh, some of the new phones require high fast charging, I mean, high speed charging, or else they won't really work too well. See, battery's charging up there. And battery is charging over here. So then you're all set, basically. Now let's move on to this nice yellow jacket. Um, power strip. As you can see, it's all metal construction, just like this one over here. I might be um, replacing the plastic one underneath it with this. The only thing that's I don't really like is that it doesn't offer surge protection. Um, but I could just plug it into the one up closet. I mean, I'm not really supposed to do this, but I already have this plugged in. That's what I was using to do my little setup down there. Sorry for the leg in the way box over there. This is plastic on the bottom, which is kind of weird. Have your on-off switch. This one is not lighted. It's meant for job site work. This was outside, I'm guessing. Probably would get rusty, but um, has these little sliders here so you don't get the outlet wet or have somebody stick their finger in the hot yellow jacket. Now I also saw on the back of this thing <laughs> That says CCI, Coleman Cable, uh, LLC, which I thought was interesting. I didn't know, like, they were the same company or, like, whatever. But I thought that was cool, but this offers durable steel case, six-foot cord, which is nice. It's nice and long. This obviously meant for job sites and heavy-duty applications. They also a lot. They also sell a lot, um more in this series. They have like the um, four outlets and then they have a one with the USB on it too. So I'm not sure if they have any with the um, surge protection on it. Six grounded outlets, sliding protective debris covers. Okay so let's say you have sand on the work site or something that would be great. Or if it's in a garage especially. Um, slots on the back allow easy wall mounting. Yep. Um, two okay yeah the last two outlets are spaced out more for bigger adapters and you did see these four close together and those are a little bit apart now it's a little different with that that's really more long than wide 
but I mean if you had a regular adapter uh, like a wall adapter don't have one around but if you had one big adapter that spans outwards that would be great so this also could be used for a desk I mean it's really nice it's easy visible cord that's one of the things that they um, promote with this you see nice screws on there and uh, you have this a nice strip obviously of course it works I just use it to show that set up down there But yeah, it's really rugged and really nice power strip. I don't know. Um, there's not really much to say about it. But it's just awesome. So let's move on to the next item. I just remember I've been using this clapper in my room. Uh, well, it's upside down. Um, if you remember in my last video about the review of the whole Spectral Alert series, it kept going off. My lights kept going off. Which was super annoying. And I said I was going to fix that in that video. Well... Uh, with some of the things, well, one thing that they sent me, I totally did fix that. So back here you can see, it looks kind of similar. See, there's a little red light on it. But over here, we have a wireless wall, sli wall switch. One thing I don't understand really is why they have the bottom sticking out more. Like, it's looking like it's always on. But, like... One of the things that I kind of don't like is that you can't just go like this. You have to kind of hold it in for a second. But it's not kind of one of my pet peeves. One of my pet peeves, pet peeves about this thing is that it does not come with any mounting screws. Um, maybe you guys can get that because I did recommend it to the um, person that sent me these from Woods Electrical Company. And they seem like they would um, tell the main people that put together these items and probably include that in the package. I also recommended a screw template if they're going to do that. Seems kind of weird because they didn't include any adhesive or anything to mount it to the wall. I mean, not everybody's a handyman that has screws laying around like me, but as you see, once you hold it down, it sends a wireless signal, goes off, and then once you press it again, it sends a wireless signal and turns it back on. It's obviously a wireless wall switch, which I think is pretty cool. Besides the fact that it didn't include screws, but that's only when you install it. For the rest of the time, it's great until the battery dies. This isn't one where by just pressing it, it's able to send the wireless signal. Because there is something like that. They have the wireless doorbells like that and wireless switches like that too. But this one takes like a button cell battery, which is fine. I'm, I bet it'll last a long time because it's not sending signal. The only time it is is when you press the button. But yeah, I think that's going to conclude my review of all these power strips. I um, strongly recommend you guys go check this out or look into it because let's say you have like something that needs to be turned on and you don't have a wall switch for it. This is two-pronged, by the way. It's not grounded. If you wanted something that's grounded, you'd have to get an adapter for it. I'm not sure why they never like do that, like timers and stuff. I don't understand why, never, why nobody ever puts a ground on them. But... I guess there's a reason, but let's say you have a uh, lamp across the room you want to turn on. There you go, you have a switch. Let's say you need a power strip in the garage, that's great. It could also be for a desk. Let's say you need one for a desk, this is perfect. Or for like a bedroom, bedside table or something. Um, these are all awesome strips. And I know that these people are good, they've been in the business for 75 years. And um, they're a good company. They usually, you may have seen them in like their outdoor cords and timers and switches and stuff like that. Especially the um, little three way cords, uh, you know, like Christmas stuff. The little green ones. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Peace.